how do you add together different insulation resistance values? Well, in order to show this, I'm going to test the insulation resistance values of these large cable drums. These drums all have 1.5 millimeter squared twin and earth cable on them. Drum one has 7,600 meters and gave us a reading of 18 mega ohms. Drum two had 14,000 meters and gave us an insulation resistance of 3.54 mega ohms. Drum three has 12,500 meters of cable with an insulation resistance of 5.2 mega ohms. And finally, drum four at 10,000 meters with an insulation resistance value of 29.9 mega ohms. Okay, so how can we work this out? Well, let's show this like a multiple choice question that you might get in a science paper. Each one of these options is perfectly viable. For example, A is all of the values added together. B is a representation of the lowest value. C is a representation of the highest value. And D is a smaller value from the smallest values from our cable drums. So to calculate this, you're going to need one of these. A Casio FX85 GT Plus, also available in other colours. When you're required to calculate the total insulation resistance from a number of values, then you approach this very much the same way as if you were calculating parallel resistors. That is to say that the total resistance is inversely proportional. What this means is, if I added more insulation resistance values, then the total insulation resistance would decrease. So by using this logic, we can eliminate two of these options from our multiple choice question. It can't be the highest value from our range, and it can't be A, which is all of the values added together. This leaves us with a 50-50, the lowest value given, and a value even lower. So let's now do the calculation. The formula for calculating resistance, which is inversely proportional, is 1 over RT equals 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3. If you have a Casio FX85 GT+, Plus, you can input the formula just like that. But I'm now going to show you an easy way to input this formula using the X minus 1 button. Input your values like I am here using the X minus 1 button. Then when you get to the end, press the X minus 1 button again to give you your answer. And this method works exactly the same for when we're calculating the insulation resistance values on electrical circuits. Be sure to give it a go and let me know what you think.